I have so much fun driving this car. It's such a thrill and such a pleasure to be able to have a car like a uh, C7 Z06 that I'm going to try something. Uh, I'm going to put a, a camera on my head, basically, and I'm going to show you what, it, what it's like um, from my eyes looking out through the window, and hopefully I'll be able to capture it for you what it's like for me to sit in this car and drive it. And uh, we'll do a few things, show a few uh, little oddities about the automatic transmission and stuff like that. But first of all, I watched, I watched uh, what's his name, Street Speed 717. He's got a great video vlog he does. It's really terrific. I watch him almost every day. He's really good. Got himself a new McLaren and everything. He's doing really well. But uh, I noticed when he was out there, when he got his uh, new 2017 Z06, that he that he uh, uh, he was using his key fob to start the car. And there's a there's an app you can get from Chevrolet, and you can start the car with the app. You don't have to pull your key out of your pocket. Just use your app on your phone and start stop the car, shut it off, turn it on, unlock the key, uh, car door, lock the car door. Uh, if you ever left your key fob in the car, which I did once. This would be a nice app to have. So anyway, I'm going to show you how that works. Then we'll go out and take a little ride. I'll put the camera on my head, make it seem like, hopefully, you will get some sort of a feeling what it's like to sit behind the wheel of this incredible automobile. So stay tuned. But I'm going to show you the key fob first. Then we'll go out and take a ride. Okay, so the car is sitting out here. And it's not running. So I'm going to go back in the house and we'll set down the phone. Okay, so here's the phone. And if you look up here, I have uh, my Chevrolet. I'm going to tap on my Chevrolet. And then it'll tell me remote commands. And I have to put in my pin, so I'm going to turn you away for a minute. I'll put in my pin. Okay, we've brought up the My Chevrolet app, and I have three different areas to select from: lock, lock, unlock, engine. Obviously, start and stop. Uh, light and horns. I guess that's horn, and that's just lights, I think. But anyway, uh, we want to try to start the car, so I'm going to push this button. Do I want to use the remote? When it's in it's safe and legal, yeah, I don't want to do that. Yes, yes, yes. It's in progress. Let's start walking out by the car. Did you hear it start? Did you hear it start? That was it. It started. Amazing. And now, with that same remote, I'll click to have it shut off. Bingo. Shut up. Isn't that cool? So here we go. We're in the car. I'm going to start the, start the car up. My Valentine 108 Audi detector goes off. I've also got a, a um, looping camera that's on all the time. Loops the video up front and there's a little, this little small camera down the bottom that's going up back too. So we try to keep uh, cases an accident and uh, it's not my fault and somebody tries to say it's my fault I'll have the video so I can uh, tell them that it was not my fault and you notice on the head on the uh, display my speedometer see that little yellow line in the red line when the car is cold it'll come all the way up probably to 3500 rpms when it first starts up now it's moved over to uh, 4700 rpms it's telling me don't be an idiot don't be an asswipe and rev the car up too high when the engine is still cold what are you a nincompoop you know I mean, they're trying they're doing everything they can to try to help you to keep this engine in good shape and and who doesn't want to keep their I mean unless you unless you're a gazillionaire or something I mean who doesn't want to keep the engine in good shape so it keeps running in maximum performance all the time so uh, that's a, now it's down to 5200 RPM. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. On, I can't tell if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. It's gone up to 5200. I can rev up the 5200. So it's telling me as the temperature, the oil temperature and everything, all the temps get up to speed, 
uh, eventually that'll all disappear and we'll be good to go. But right now we're not good to go, so take it easy, you know, don't, don't go too fast. Give you an idea that this thing just wants to go all the time. Here we are, we're driving this beautiful, brand new, well, six month old, five month old, um, 2017 Z06, 650 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque. Automatic, new to me. I miss the shifting, especially with the rev matching they had on my 2016 Corvette, my Stingray, which I loved. Uh, it's a great car, by the way. And, but, I love the performance of this car. I mean, it just, the automatic is so quick. And, I don't know if you can hear the, the car shifting, but, um, it shifts fine. I mean, when do you need lightning shifts? If you need lightning shifts, there are a couple of things uh, you can do. I found that just leaving it in drive and taking off, it shifts like hell. And one of the, I think, uh, P51 Mustang, one of the guys uh, that is a subscriber, he told me of something that I never knew about. He, I'm learning. He said, you take the, take the gas pedal, slam it all the way down to the floor, and then come right up off of it. And then when you go back down on the gas, the car's gonna shift like it's a Formula One car. So, if we have time, we'll try that out. But I, I wanna show you uh, just in regular drive how fast this car shifts and uh, you know I mean we had a little space out here I'd show you let me slow down a little bit I'm back in drive now if I floor it now watch did you hear that shift how the hell much faster you gotta go? That was fast. That car, the car just light, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, post something down below that you said, no, it was a slow, that was freaking fast. How, how, how fast do you have to go? How fast do your shifts have to be? I mean, I can't, I could never shift that fast in the manual transmission. I've got something now that shifts faster than hell and I never had anything like I could never in all my years of shifting and autocrossing and time trialing and all the years I raced my Corvettes I could never never ever shift the car the way I just shifted this car truly amazing truly amazing the other thing they talked about was slamming it to the floor and then did slam it to the floor then went back on the gas I noticed I did have some wheel spin so I I lifted a little bit got back on it it was fine um, I think that's what scares um, some guys I've seen on a couple of videos where they get on it and they um, the car starts to the rear wheels start to break loose and they get a little nervous and they drop everything they just come right off the gas no come off the gas but get back on it and um, use slower inputs on steering don't don't do this stuff here you know you don't want to be making big you know uh, changes in your steering but just use little changes in your steering and and I think uh, I think you'll find it'll work out pretty good but um, I noticed that the car started to fishtail a little bit um, get up, get off the gas a little bit. Get back, right back on it to stay to it. I mean, the worst thing you can do is get off the gas. I think uh, totally lift. I think if you totally lift, get right back on it to steady it. But don't let it. You be the boss of the car. Don't let the car be the boss of you. You, you're in control of the car. That's important. Of course, that also leads me to say that if you haven't gone to a couple of driving schools and you want a monster like this. You should go to a driving school. 
go to a couple of drugs. Go to the one out in Las Vegas there, uh, Ron Fellows Driving School. You can't miss with that place. Take as many days as they'll take you. Take, take a three day, don't go up for one day, go for three days and really spend some time out there and learn how to, uh, all, all the different uh, um, things about this car. And what's really nice is you go out there, you get in there as the 06 and you beat the, <laughs> no offense Ron Fellows, but you get to beat the snot out of their car, you're not beating the snot out of your car, which is kind of nice. I mean, yeah, I, yeah you're gonna have to pay for anything you, you wreck, I'm sure, but still you're able to drive it very aggressively and you're not putting all of the aggressive beating on your car, you're putting it on a school's car, so that's nice. So anyway, now a couple of other things uh, I'd like to show is, um, I'm in drive, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm in drive, and even though I'm in drive, I can start shifting, watch this. I'll take my uh, left paddle, and I don't know if you can see the drive on here, I'm gonna click it once. Oh, six came up, that means like I'm on manual mode. Oh, there's five. Oh, there's four. Oh, there's three. I'm doing all this, and I'm in drive. But it shows that I'm in manual down here on the shifter. Now it just went back up to drive. Did you see that? So, it'll, you can, let me do it again. There's six, how can I do that? It shows on my shifter I'm in manual mode. So if you look down, you say, oh, how did I get in manual? I didn't touch the shifter. Well, you touch the left-hand paddle, which is a downshifter, and so you're putting yourself in manual mode. Let me do it again. I'm gonna hit the left paddle shifter. That's the downshifter. Watch what happens down here. I'm gonna hit it go, click. Oh, I'm in manual mode. Oh, yes, there's the six. Tells me I'm in manual. There's five, there's four, there's three, there's two, there's one. It won't let me do it, will it? You know why? Because I'm going too fast to go back in first gear. It saves your butt. It makes sure you don't do anything stupid, which we are all capable of doing. And I include myself in that. <laughs> we are able to do stupid things. So, how do you like your drive so far? This is kind of fun, isn't it? I thought it would be fun to do this. I think it's, I, to me, this would be very enjoyable. But anyway. Nice, huh? The biggest problem with this car is that it has so much power and it's so much fun to hit the happy pedal. You really have to, it's, you have to, you have to drive this car in a restrained mode. In other words, you have to constantly restrain yourself from burying this gas pedal and feeling the tremendous power and torque that this car has. It's really amazing. This thing just loves to kick ass. What can I, that's the best way I can put it. It just loves to get up and scream. And it just, you know, it just doesn't, it seems like it can't get enough of it. It looks like, keep doing it, keep doing it to me. It just absolutely loves it, and it runs great. All right, I'm gonna turn around here. Downshift a couple of shifts. You know what I did just then? I hit the downshift paddle once, and then I uh, hit it a second time and held it down. And when I did, and when I did, I uh, it drops it down to the lowest possible gear it can go into. So if I'm coming down here, I'm in sixth gear, right? I'm gonna go blink and then hold it. And it puts me back down into first gear. So here you are pulling back into the garage after having a nice ride trying not to hit the motorcycle. I gotta do a video on that. I haven't done a video on that yet. So that's it. Nice ride. And uh, you got to almost drive a Corvette. I hope you, that this 
you got the feeling, the excitement, the uh, energy that you feel uh, when you sit behind the wheel of a car like this. It really is truly amazing and uh, I feel very blessed and very fortunate to be able to drive a car like this. It really is um, something else and I hope you all get a chance to, if you haven't driven one I hope you all get a chance to drive it. Hey even if you can't afford to own one go out and take the driver's school. <laughs> you get to drive one. I definitely you definitely want to get behind the wheel of one of these cars sometime and uh, experience the excitement that goes with it. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the, uh, uh, the button, the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, I'd love to have you subscribe. That really helps if you hit the subscribe button. If you hit the little bell to the right of the subscribe button, you'll uh, be notified of every single video uh, that I do when I put them up. I don't put that many up, but when I put one up, you'll be the first to know th that it's... Uh, it's up and on YouTube. So thanks again. I hope you have a great day and um, may your dreams come true. <laughs>